Hey guys, Leanne here with a quick core workout for you for the holiday weekend. You can do this anywhere. You don't need any equipment. I just have my mat because I'm out here on my porch and let's get going. Four exercises, but first we're gonna warm up with three really quick exercises. So if you will, get down on the floor and we're gonna do a cat cow. And most of you guys know how to do that one. So I've got my wrists under my shoulders. In other words, I don't wanna be here, but I've got my wrists under my shoulders. My back is flat. So I wanna relax my belly, lift my head, take a deep breath, tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. I wanna to try to look at my ribs. Inhale here, relax the belly, lift the head. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, tuck the chin. Two more. Inhale, relax the belly, lift the head. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, tuck the chin. One more, guys. Inhale, and then you wanna exhale. Oh gosh, that feels so good right here across my belt line. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna flip over next and do a little glute bridging. So I want you to lie down, bring your heels in close, Hands by your side. So I want you to lift up, press up through the heels, get the glutes off the ground, lift up to a straight line, knee to shoulders. Now lower back down. As soon as your booty touches the mat, you wanna lift back up, drive the hips back up. Lower back down, tap the ground, lift back up. We're just trying to turn those glutes on, warm up the hips. Before we do our four core exercises, drive it up through the heels. Lower it back down, and then one more. And lower it back down. Now bring the knees in, you're gonna roll over on your side, and then assist yourself getting up. We're gonna come back up for the last one to warm you up. My legs are straight, and I'm just gonna hinge over and touch my opposite toe. So I'm gonna actually angle so you can see me here. I'm gonna hinge over, I'm gonna touch my opposite toe. Nice stretch for the hamstrings, hamstrings, hips, also using your low back to come on up. So, touch opposite toe, little windmill action here. Two more guys. All right, there we go. That should warm you up. And if you feel like you need a little bit more warm up before we do this really quick workout, then feel free to go through that again, okay? All right, here is your first one. So it's gonna be an inchworm to a tap out. So let me show you what that looks like. I'll demonstrate one time. So your legs are gonna be soft knees, straight. I want you to roll down, walk out, get your fingertips, walk all the way up to where your wrists are under your shoulders so you don't wanna drop here. Once you get to your plank, I want you to tap out, tap out. Now you're gonna lift your hips back up, walk yourself back up. All right, you can also do this with a chair. I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate. If you wanna do the chair version, you're just gonna roll yourself out Step out to a plank here, tap out, tap out, and then you'll step back in and come up. All right, so there's the chair option for you. All right, here we go. You ready? Let's do this. We're going to do four of them. Roll yourself down, walk yourself out. High plank, shoulders over the wrist. Tap out, tap out, walk all the way back up. All right, that's one. Roll back down, out to a plank. Tap out, tap out. And you can go slower than me if you want or quicker. I'm not that fast. Tap out, tap out. Remember, nice straight line, head to tail. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got dog hair all over this mat. The babies walked through here earlier. That's it, this is your last one and roll yourself up. Huh. Exercise one. Come on down for number two. It's a sprinter crunch. So it's gonna look like this. Get your jog bra there. All right, so one leg is down. I'm gonna come up and my, op my elbow is gonna touch my opposite knee. So it's gonna be sit up, touch opposite knee with my elbow, sit up, elbow to opposite knee. And the other leg is straight down on the mat. All right, here we go guys, we're gonna do 10 of them. Alrighty, come on up, elbow to opposite knee, elbow to opposite knee. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Two more. I'm not used to counting. I usually time these. And 10. There we go. Give your low back a little love really quick. We've got two down, two to go. So the next one, single leg switch. So I'm gonna lift my head off the mat and I'm gonna look past my extended leg. So my legs off the floor, not down here, okay? So don't look up because the weight of your head's gonna stretch your neck. I'm gonna look past my feet. You got it? All right. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, kick it out. One, two, we're doing 10. Three, four, five. Three more, guys. Two more. There you go. Give your back just a little bit more love. And the last one we're going to do down here as well. This is a great core exercise. The key is to keeping your spine secure on the floor. So dead bug, it looks kind of silly, but I swear it works. So I want you to imagine that you've got a blueberry or a raspberry back here behind your low back, and I want you to press, engage your core, so set your spine into the mat. So don't arch up off the mat. Now get your legs up, and then get your arms up over your chest, all right? Now, I want you to bend your knees at 90, both arms are going to go overhead and one leg is going to extend. Now, really quick before you start, are you still smashing that blueberry strawberry back here? So I want you to bring it back up. All right, here we go. We're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to do 10 of these. Here we go. Extend one leg, arms overhead, bring it back up. That's one, two, arms go overhead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you smashing that blueberry in the mat? That's the hardest part right there. That's it. Both knees in. That was round one. So if you want to make this a longer workout, do two to three sets. I'm just demonstrating one set, and then I'm gonna show you how to draw some circles with your knees, give your back a little love, and then reverse. Guys, that was so quick. This is a great quick thing that you could do every day. Really easy, no equipment. Now, kind of windshield wipe those feet back and forth, get your hips, take your knees over to one side, let your arms go out in a T, and then I'm gonna take my gaze in the opposite direction. Now switch sides. So if you're gonna do a couple more sets, go ahead and you'd go back to the inchworm, to the tap outs, four times, everything else gets 10 reps, all right? And then you'll do these stretches, then you can fall back, back up to these. And then one more. When you're done, you're gonna roll over on your side, lift yourself up, and you're done. That's it.